Hello, it's Sandra from um, Member Services here and today I'm just shooting a very short video if I can keep it short, <laughs> I tend to ramble um, but I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about domain names especially if you're a new member and you're in Module 3 and you're trying to choose a domain name to map into your SFM to use uh, with your link generator to create your advertising links. Now, creating a domain name can be really scary and it can be something that's hard to do because it's not something that we normally think about every day. But think about it from this perspective, okay? Your domain name that you're going to use in the link generator to create your advertising links that domain name is going to be the part of the name that shows up on your landing pages um, when you create your advertising link. So that's the domain name that's going to be seen in your advertising if you use that link in your advertising. So think of something that's suitable for that. You don't want it strange, you don't want it to look weird, you don't want it to look spammy or wrong, you want it to be something that's basic um, and suitable uh, for an advertising link. You also want to think in the long term. If you're going to create a website of your own in the future and if you're planning to position at DEA Gold and above, you're going to need to have a website. So you're going to need a domain, so you'll need two domains. The second domain that you want when you're building a website, you want it to be as similar as possible to your landing page domain. Now this will come into play in your advertising. And the reason I say that is because if you're going to use the SFM pre-built landing pages, so you're going to go into the link generator, create a link with your domain that you've set up for that, um, and, and say you've got the domain um, forever, Com and you use that as your link generator domain. And then say you create a website that says, um, you know, successinfreedom.com. Your advertising link starts with forever.com and your website is, you know, successinfreedom.com. They're two different names. And this can create problems for you in the um, congruency and compliance department of Bing Advertising and Google Advertising if you're going to go PPC and a whole range of other things as well. So um, you know, think about that as well. But for now, let's just talk about getting your link generator domain, okay? So um, the best way to do that is to check. And what, a lot, what happens is a lot of people think um, of a really cool name you know, they may they may call it my um, I don't know my freedom biz. They type that in, they go for the .com, and they check the domain availability. Okay, now we're in the DBL doing this. Okay, we're checking the domain availability. Now, as you can see, my freedom biz is not available. Please, please try another domain. Now. The reason it's not available is because somebody else is using it. Now, I always have something like Namecheap open, okay? So in here, I'll type the same domain. And I'll put the .com after it. And I'll do a search. Now, you can use HostGator, GoDaddy, anyone you like. I just have an account with, Name, uh, with Namecheap, so I like to use them. Okay, so but you can use GoDaddy to do this, you can use HostGator to do this, you can use anyone to do this, okay? Now, the reason you want to check is because there are other domains that you can use. There's .co, um, there's uh, .com.au, um, .net, .org, um, .biz. There's a million and one um, afters that you can use. And you'll see that here once this finishes loading in Namecheap. Now, you may want to use a .net or a .info or a .org because you really, 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 really like that name. Um, my suggestion on that would be to think about it really, really carefully. Uh, the reason you want to think about it really carefully is because of this 
specific reason and this specific reason alone is you do not know um, unless you do a search what that domain is being used for okay like what type of website so as you can see dot com is taken okay now there are all these other synonyms that you can put after it ending bits you can put after it there's dot net there's dot co there's um, dot online dot design dot shop now a lot of these a lot of people haven't heard of so you may not want to go with them for a business um, website but you know for a landing page they may do fine I don't know I, I don't know how um, Google or Bing or Facebook will look at ends like dot trade dot bid dot tech dot top they may accept them they may not um, you know and I can click on more options and show more options down below and here you'll see the prices um, next to them you know so these cheaper ones you, know, you have to ask yourself yeah is there a reason they're cheaper yes there is a reason they're cheaper okay so you know that this site in the dot com is not available however it is available in dot net if you wanted to purchase it at dot net it's also available in dot co if you wanted to purchase it as a dot co but um what type of website is running this domain that's the next question you need to ask yourself so take the domain and put it in the search here and just type it into your search bar up here and click search because you have to ask yourself is that a website that you want to be associated with how long has that website been established and would that website have control of all of the um, SEO the search terms used with that domain and as you can see here um, it's a bit of a weird one because what they've done is they've taken this domain name they own this domain name and rather than using that domain name they've just purchased it and they've redirected it to another domain okay here as you can see they've redirected it so you may not want your website um, associated with a website like this you know it, it's a bit of a spammy website it's it's like a landing page it's, it's a pre-built landing page there's nothing on here except a video I guess I could watch the video but you know, if I'm on a mobile phone and this video won't play on a mobile phone or I don't have a strong enough internet connection, I may not be able to, you know, watch this video. So I've got no way of finding out, you know, what the heck this is all about. Um, you know, it says Surge 365. It's about something, but what? Um, it's not the domain I wanted. Um, it's It looks beachy. So is it a surf website? Um, you know, what is it? I don't know I can contact them I guess and ask them um, but but you know sometimes you don't want to but you can click on more info down here you can have a look see you, you're gonna have to there's a pop-up I don't want to do that I mean yeah you know, I'm, I'm surfing around the internet I don't want to do that no I, I don't know what I'm giving you my email address for no I don't want to do that so I'm clicking out of that so you know you may not want your website um, linked to that or you may think that you can overtake that because they're just doing a redirect so, you know, you might want to um, go with the .net or you might want to go with the .com.au or .co.uk. Um, you just have to check to make sure it's available. Okay. Um, you know, now that's just a simple way of uh, checking your domains in the DBL. Now, if it says that it's not available, please try another domain. Well, then try another domain. Um, you know, like if, the, if you really, really want this domain here, Personally, I wouldn't go with it because it's already taken. But if you really, really want it, okay, take the domain like this. Um, go to DBL, paste it in. Well, actually, you can just check it in here, okay. Maybe put, um, maybe go to the domain here and put a hyphen here and see if that works. Do a search. There you go, the domain is available. So myfreedombiz.com is available. Um, so you can buy it in the .com. Here you go, see? You can purchase the .com. Uh, if you go back, if you copy that, and go back to um, your DBL, you'll be able to place it in there. You 
can end off the dot com at the end there because you don't need it because it's right here and then you can purchase it okay there you go it'll give you your purchase details now quite frankly this domain name here is a perfect domain name to use for your link generator um, you know it's it's a great advertising link um, you know so you can use that because there are lots of other um, domains that you can come up with that are very similar to that that you can use for your website later on um, if, you, if you wish but that's that's another subject for another day so that's how you can figure out how to get the domain name that you want I'm going to end this now because I've been going for 10 minutes um, have a great day I rambled on sorry about that but I hope I explained how to um, you know first think about the domain name you're using for your advertising link because that's your advertising link so basically you're going to be inside of your SFM dashboard you're going to use this domain that you purchase for your link generator inside your SFM dashboard so when you create a landing page that's going to show up at the front of your landing page and then that link that you've, you've created in your link generator which we call the advertising link that's the link that you're going to copy and paste into your Bing advertising or your um, YouTube videos or your email advertising or your Facebook advertising or on Twitter when you're doing advertising that's why you want you know a sensible domain at the front there you don't want anything that looks spammy has too many numbers in it or just you know it does not look right so think about it think clearly about it and play around with it have a play around with your words um, have use your dashes you can't you can't do too many numbers anyway and you can't do any other weird symbols but you can use a dash okay you can't use uh, backslash and dollar signs but you can use dashes so that may help you in getting the domain name that you want have a great day this is Sandra from member services signing off and I really hope this video helps you bye for now